Hey, it's Ryan here, and I wanted to show you this new project I've been working on called PDF Gen. And PDF Gen is a way for you to dynamically create PDFs from your application. A very common workflow for me is I need to create, let's say, invoices or certificates or whatever the domain concern is for a project. I need to be able to pass some data somewhere and get a PDF back. And typically the way that I do this is I create a server that runs Puppeteer and I've got Pug in there and I've got some other stuff in there as well. And it's really the same thing in every project that I work on. I install the same dependencies. I do the same kind of setup. So I figured why not create a central place where I can do this and have it act as a service and allow you to use it as well. Let's take a look at what it looks like. We can create a new template here. Uh, let's, let's say my invoice, because we'll work on an invoice here. Invoice for the company, something like that. And we've got this invoice starter. We can use this as a starting point to see how it all works. We've also got a certificate starter, or you can just start blank if you like as well. So we'll hit submit on that, and this is going to fire up a new template for us. Over here on the left side is Pug, which is used for the templating. And if you're not familiar with Pug, it's kind of like HTML without the angle brackets and without the closing tag. Uh, indentation does matter here, uh, but you can do some cool things like you can iterate over things. Right here, we're doing an iteration over each line item that comes from our data. We'll see that in just a sec. And we're also doing things like summing up values with some JavaScript functions right here within the template. So it is powerful. It can be a little bit finicky, but ultimately it does kind of give you a good experience for creating templates. So we get our invoice over here rendered on the right and the data that goes into it is found in the preview data spot here. So we've got our customer information, we've got our line items, that all goes into this spot to render this preview. You can put in your own custom styles with CSS if you like. I'm using just straight up Tailwind classes here. So, you know, we've got border two, we've got a border with a spe specific color up at the top. So just Tailwind here that I'm using, but you can also include your own CSS as well. Once we're satisfied with the template, we can publish it. So click to publish, that will give us a published template. And then we can copy this curl command to try it out. So let's hit copy on that. So we will come over to the command line and let's paste that in. And if we hit download on that, we should get it into our downloads folder. Let's check. So there's my PDF. There we go. We've got our PDF that gets generated from the API. So that, that hits the PDF gen .app domain. It gives us a, a PDF back with some data that we've sent to it. Now you probably want to use this from an actual application and we can give you a sense of what that looks like. Here we go in a node application where we've got the PDF gen .app URL pointing ourselves towards that API. We've got a template ID. Let's grab actually the template ID that's specific to this one that I just created. So we can grab that from here. And we can put that in. We've got some data here that is basically just the same as what we've already seen. I've got an extra line item though. And we are then going to the generate endpoints. We're passing an API key here and passing in our data like so. Uh, some node specific stuff down here where we're kind of putting it to a buffer and then, and then right file syncing it uh, as that buffer. But if we hit save, it's going to run. And what we'll see in this PDFs folder, we will get a, a PDF showing up. So there's my file. We can make sure it works. Let's open it up. We'll reveal in Finder and there it is my file with the three line items. Uh, so a way for you to dynamically create PDFs with some data, you just set up your template, you pass data to the API and it gives you back a, a PDF. Uh, so much less setup. I, I think the, the one spot that this is going to be really valuable is if you're running a serverless application because getting Puppeteer uh, to run on serverless is, is a pain. The, the dependencies you need, they go above uh, the 50 megabyte uh, cap that is often imposed uh, by many providers. So you can, uh, you can get a much easier time getting your PDFs if you use something like PDF Gen. So uh, give it a shot. I, I'd appreciate it if you tried it out and, and let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you hit any issues. Let me know if you want any specific functionality in there that isn't there already. That kind of thing. Really appreciate you trying it out. Thanks a lot.